In December 2013, violence erupted in Juba, the capital of South Sudan, and quickly spread throughout the country. IOM and other agencies responded to the crisis through the deployment of emergency staff to provide people with immediate, life-saving assistance. The situation was really rough at the beginning of the conflict. Humanitarian workers and displaced people relied a lot on UNMIS. We were living inside the bases because there was fighting all around and it was unsafe to live or work outside. Since the crisis began, the situation has only gotten worse. There's more than 2 million people that are displaced. 500,000 of them are now refugees in Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. And another 1.5 million are displaced within South Sudan. This is not a one-time thing. They've moved three, five, ten times, maybe more. They're running from the fighting. They're just trying to survive. Half the country, 4.6 million people, face severe food insecurity, and many of them will die. As of July 2015, more than 140,000 people, mostly women and children, have sought refuge at UNMIS Protection of Civilian Sites. POC sites were designed to accommodate a small number of people for a couple of days, but the vast majority have lived in these camps for more than a year and under extremely harsh conditions. At Bentu, IOM has undertaken a massive earthworks program to expand the site to accommodate the huge influx of people and to improve the quality of their lives. When tens of thousands of internally displaced people come together in a congested camp, humanitarian agencies must coordinate activities efficiently to provide food, water, nutrition, toilets, medical care, and other services to ensure that the most vulnerable people are able to access services. Many aid agencies are involved. IOM leads camp management at sites throughout South Sudan. After more than 50 years of continual fighting, the infrastructure in South Sudan is extremely limited. Once the rainy season begins, travel by road is impossible for the next six months. For IOM and other humanitarian actors, that means moving staff, equipment, and materials by air, and that's extremely expensive. In order to reach internally displaced people hiding in remote, deep field locations where there are no service providers, IOM deploys mobile rapid response teams on two to four week missions to provide medical, nutrition, water, and shelter assistance. IOM operates primary health care clinics, and we provide vaccinations for polio, measles, and for waterborne diseases like cholera. In the first six months of 2015, more than 500 babies were delivered at IOM health clinics in South Sudan. IOM is also engaged in water sanitation and hygiene activities. Everything from piping and treating water from the Nile River, to drilling boreholes, to building latrines and disposing of waste in a sanitary manner. Without good hygiene, diseases like cholera can spread rapidly. IOM and community leaders work together to tackle issues that affect the whole community to make POCs as livable as possible.
IOM is engaged in peace-building activities that bring together communities for a common purpose. An important part of this is rebuilding community infrastructure, such as schools, medical clinics, and marketplaces that have been destroyed. Vocational and skills training also help people to start again after years of conflict. IOM also provides psychosocial assistance for traumatized individuals and communities. ไม่ได้ไปกาลเนดานมาหลังนี่ใหญ่ก็กูก็บ้านกระดานเตตาเกิดกระดวนแม่มาขี้ลอยได้แข่งแหงขี้กาดก็อยู่เกิดเนี่